for yet another episode and today we're going to do something totally different. I'm going to show you guys how you can make your very own nature themed art projects at home because I know in my free time I love to paint and draw and even though I'm not a professional artist or an art teacher it is still so much fun to get our hands a little messy and make some awesome art projects. So if you are a kiddo that's missing art class right now, this is a perfect video for you. Okay guys, the first art project I'm gonna show you how to do is I'm gonna show you step by step how you can turn an ordinary gray rock like this one into a ladybug. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is go walk out in nature and see if you can find a rock that's similar to this size and this shape. Notice my rock is kind of the same shape as a real life ladybug. It's round and looks kind of circular. And once you find that, I'll show you what we need to do next to make our ladybug. Okay, so here is step one when you're gonna be making your ladybug. You're gonna need to put some red paint on your paint palette. Not too much, just enough to cover a rock. Okay, and I forgot to say you're going to want a cup of water by you so you can clean your paintbrush off. I'm going to dip my paintbrush in my red paint and I'm going to cover my entire rock red. The whole thing. You don't have to get underneath the rock, you can just get the top of it. Okay, and there is my red rock. And then we're gonna have to wait for a few minutes and let it dry. Make sure it's dry completely before you start on the next layer. Okay guys, so it's time for step number two. So we're gonna need to get out our black paint and put a little bit on our palette. and get a new paintbrush or clean off the one you just were using. And right now our rock is just red. So we need to add the ladybug's head. So I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in this black paint. And this is the top of my ladybug right up here. So I'm gonna put the head up there. Just make a nice little curved line across the top. And fill that line in. You can make the head however big or small you want. I'm going to make mine a little bit bigger. Okay, now that we have the head, we're going to keep using the black paint. So get a little bit more black paint and then we're going to need to make a straight line down the middle of the ladybug's back. So this looks right here. This is about where the middle is. So I'm going to take my paintbrush very carefully and make a straight line right down the middle of its back. Okay, so now I have the head and I have the straight line. So this is what our ladybug should look like so far. Now, what else does a ladybug have on it that we need to paint black? Okay, we need to add the ladybug's black dots on its back. You can make the dots however big or small you want them. So I'm gonna put a dot right here. I'm gonna put another dot right here. Right over there. I'm just making a bunch of little circles on the ladybug's back. And one more down here. You can put your dots wherever you want. Now that we have the black paint, I'm gonna put my paintbrush in my water cup again. And we are gonna need to wait and tell our black paint dries to do the next part. 
Okay guys, time for step number three. Now that we have our head and our wings separated and the black dots painted and the paint is just about dry, we are going to get our white paint out and put a little bit of paint on our palette. And the white paint is gonna be for the eyes. So we're gonna need to make two circles on our head for the eyeballs. Okay, when you have the two circles made, make sure you put your brush back in the water. And then we will need to let the white paint dry now. Okay guys, our ladybug is almost done. We made the white eye eyes last time and now we need to add the pupil. So to do that, we wanna get back out our black paint. And to do this, I like to use the end of the paintbrush. And I'm just gonna dip it in my black paint and dip it to my white eyes and make a nice little circle. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one. Okay, so now I have the eyes. And you can stop right there. Your ladybug can be done just like that. But I think I'm gonna add antennas to mine. So I'm gonna keep the black paint out and dip it back in. And I'm gonna make some antennas on my ladybug's head. They're just gonna be little ones. Just like that, and then your ladybug is all done. Isn't he cute? I hope that you guys had fun making your ladybug with me. If you are looking for more ideas on how to incorporate rocks into art, here are a few more for you. If you're working with younger kids and this is too hard for them to do, you can always just go out and find the bigger rocks and just let them go for it and see what creations and colors they're able to use. You can extend their thinking by talking about the shape of the rock or the colors you're using. For the older kids that are looking for something more challenging than a step-by-step -step type of thing, you can go out and find smaller pebbles and rocks and make your own designs. So for example, I made this one a few days ago out of pebbles and rocks that I found on a beach. And what I did is I laid it down on this board flat first. And once I had the design I wanted, I just used super glue and I glued them down. And this is just a canvas like board, but it did come with a frame. But if you don't have this, you can just glue it to wood or anything that's a little bit harder that will hold up these rocks. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me today. And I can't wait to see you guys next time.